what's going on everybody welcome back to my youtube channel let's solve this math question that says find the values of x for which 2x minus 2 or raise 34 is equal to 1. our first step will be for us to move 1 to the left hand side so we have 2x minus 2 or raise to the fourth and as one crosses to the left it becomes minus one and this is equal to zero so this simplifies into 2x minus 2 or raised to the four is same as two times two and then minus one equal to zero well we can simplify this further by writing it as 2x minus 2 or raised to the 2. Now we're going to be raising this to this other power here, 2. Because from indices, powers multiply. So this 2 multiplies this 2 to give back 4. And then minus 1 is same as 1 squared. And this is equal to 0. Now, our next step will be for us to expand this one here, 2x minus 2 or raised to the 2. Well, this can also be written as 2x minus 2 times 2x minus 2. And remember, this is raised to power 2. So I'm going to be raising this to power 2. Minus 1 squared equal to 0. So now let's expand this. So 2x times 2x, that is 4x squared, minus 2x times 2, that is 4x, minus 2 times 2x is 4x, and then minus times minus gives plus 2 times 2, that is 4. And this is raised to the 2 minus 1 squared, equal to zero now let's simplify what we have inside of this parenthesis this is 4x squared now minus 4x minus 4x is minus 8x and then plus 4 all raised to the 2 and then minus 1 squared equal to zero now we have an expression in difference of two squares an expression in difference of two squares for example when i have a squared minus b squared this can be written as a minus b times a plus b now we're going to be writing this in this form but by comparison you see that a is this which is a is 4x squared minus 8x plus 4 and then b is 1 so b is 1 now we're going to be writing this expression in this form so this becomes a minus b which is 4x squared minus 8x plus 4 that's our a minus b b is 1 and then times a plus b so our a is 4x squared minus 8x plus 4 plus b b is 1 so plus 1 and this is equal to 0 and now simplifying we have 4x squared minus 8x 4 minus 1 is 3 so this is plus 3 times this is 4x squared minus 8x and then 4 plus 1 is 5 so I'm going to be writing 5 here and this is equal to 0 so we have two cases it is either this which is 4x squared minus 8x plus 3 is equal to 0 or this other factor which is 4x squared 
minus 8x plus 5 is equal to 0. We're going to be solving these cases one after the other. First, starting with this. Now, starting with the first case, so I'll call this case 1, which is this. Let me write that out. So 4x squared minus 8x plus 3 equal to 0. Now, the good thing about this equation is that it can be factorized. So I'll use this 4 to multiply this 3. So 4 times 3 is plus 12. Now, I need a factor of 12. But notice that I have negative here. If there is negative here, that means the two factors of 12 that we're going to be multiplying must be negative. So let me use negative 6 and negative 2. The reason why I use negative 6 and negative 2 is because when I add them, like negative 6x plus negative 2x, this will result to negative 8x. So see them here. They are very, very important. Why? Because this negative 8x is what we have here. So this is a factor to use. So we have 4x squared. Now, instead of writing negative 8x, we're going to write negative 6x and negative 2x. And then plus 3 equal to 0. Now, we're going to take these first two terms. You notice that 2x is common. So we can factor out 2x, open bracket, 4x squared divided by 2x is 2x minus 6x divided by 2x is 3 minus. Now, notice that 1 is common here. So I'm going to be writing down 1, open bracket. Now, minus 2x divided by minus 1 is 2x. And then 3 divided by minus 1 is minus 3. And this is equal to 0. Now, I'll write this common factor, which is 2x minus 3. I'll write that there because it is common. And then, when I use this, which is 2x times 2x minus 3 divided by 2x minus 3, I get 2x minus. When I use this, 1 times 2x minus 3 divided by 2x minus 3, I get 1. And this is equal to zero now we have two cases from here we have 2x minus 3 to be equal to zero or we have 2x minus 1 to be equal to zero now from this case we can see that we move negative 3 to the right hand side so that we have 2x to be equal to as negative 3 crosses to the right it becomes positive 3 now divide both sides by 2 in order to get a value of x. You see that 2 cancels out, leaving behind x to be equal to 3 all over 2. Now or, now I'm going to be moving negative 1 to the right hand side so that we have 2x to be equal to, as negative 1 crosses to the right, it becomes positive 1. Now let's divide both sides by 2 in order to get a value of x. Now 2 cancels out 2 leaving behind x to be equal to 1 all over 2. So we've got two values of x from here. And this takes us to our second case. We've completed case 1. Now we move on to case 2. So now our case 2 is we've got 4x squared minus 8x plus 5 to be equal to zero. Now, the thing about this equation is that it cannot be factorized. That means we're going to be using the quadratic formula to solve this. And looking at this, you see that a is the coefficient of x squared, and that is 4. Our b is the coefficient of x, and that is negative 8. And our c is the constant term, which is 5. So now using our quadratic formula, this is x equal to negative b plus or minus 
is square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Now let's substitute here. So we've got x to b negative b, that is negative b is negative 8 plus or minus the square root of b squared, that is negative 8 squared minus 4 times a times c. So 4 times a, a is 4 times c, c is 5 all over 2 times a, that is 2 times 4. Now, simplifying further, we have x to be negative times negative is positive. So, we're going to be having positive 8 here, plus or minus the square root of negative 8 squared is actually 64. Minus 4 times 4 is 16, times 5 is 80, all over 2 times 4 is 8. So this simplifies into x equal to, we have 8 plus or minus the square root of 64 minus 80 is actually negative 16 all over 8. So this becomes x equal to 8 plus or minus. Now we're going to be simplifying this negative 16 here. So this becomes 16 times negative 1 all over Eight. Now simplifying further, x will be 8 plus or minus. Now I'm going, to be, I'm going to be separating this. So this is the square root of 16 times the square root of negative 1 all over 8. Now simplifying, x will be 8 plus or minus. The square root of 16 is 4. So I'm going to be writing 4 there times the square root of negative 1 is iota. So let me write 1 here. I here, rather, all over 8. Now, notice that 4 is common. So I can factor out 4. So x will be... Oh, don't worry. Let's just separate the fraction. So this is 8 over 8 plus or minus 4i over 8. Now, notice that 8 divided by 8 is 1, and 4 here, 1, 4 here is 2. So this we have x to be equal to 1 plus or minus, this is 1 over 2, i. So there are actually two values of x from here, on which one value is 1 plus 1 over 2i, while the other value is 1 minus 1 over 2i. So that is it. Now we've got two values of x before. Now this is going to be the third value and this will be the fourth value. Well, feel free to share your ideas in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video and have learned something from this video, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos. And like I always say, until next time, take care.